Hello and good morning. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV Live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Right, so we're going to um, ignore the security offerings. BTC has had Segway uh, um, implemented, which segregated the signatures on the chain, meaning there is no digital signatures attached to the transaction data, meaning it can't be used as a medium of exchange because there's no way of legally proving who sent the transaction. Uh, Bcrash is deleting transaction data, so again, can't be used as a medium of exchange. It's a centrally controlled security offering. Same with eCash. And then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed. It's just massively scaled. So we've got the price this morning, $55, hash rate 0.17. Network nodes 0.5 transactions, so 67%. Come on. I'm not even sure that um, CryptoFight is back on chain yet, but that's huge, 67% already. Loving that. And um, block size, absolutely huge, 98.9. So remember, it is a these are data management networks. Data is uploaded via transactions. Transactions are processed by the miners. Miners supply the hash rate and the hash rate follows the price. So again, everything is connected it comes down to data and can you see where the data is 98.9 percent .9 is on the original bitcoin protocol because these other protocols just simply don't work oh dear oh dear honestly we know what's coming let's have a look at the blocks coming through then so i can see a 742 megabyte block is that the biggest one so far yep that's all right we'll just check on um core coin that's btc 1.6 and um B crash, not even a megabyte block, and Fisher Price Cash struggling. Good grief. Like, uh, struggling. They're lucky to get over a kilobyte. <laughs> uh, hash rate, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Boom, next. Proof of work by network. Again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin, which is BSV. It's currently 7,077 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin, and it's 2.3% more profitable to mine on CoreCoin than Bitcoin. Shows you the competition for Bitcoin. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Transactions by network. Look at that. They've gone up. Loving that. Belter. Transactions per block by network. Very similar. Uh, fees. So that's fees USD. Fees Satoshis. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, I think that fees transaction fees. So quite good to see that going down. Uh, but what we want is the fee to block reward ratio going up. Uh, because we need the block fee to surpass the block reward as the block reward gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks. A daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. If you're wondering what the price is going to look like soon, this is an indicator. Oh, look at that. Where are we now? Uh, so it's 4.05 terabytes in size. Absolutely huge. Global hash rate, seven days. Global hash rate, 24 hours. Uh, cool coin. Look at that. Other miners is nowhere to be seen. That's very telling. That is very telling um, because it means that they could literally flood the market with hash rate and make it extremely unprofitable to mine should they have the economic incentive to do so. And when you realize that BTC is absolutely worthless, we know who would have the incentive to do that. I would do it <laughs> if I was Satoshi Nakamoto, but I'm not. I'm Satoshi, the defender of Bitcoin. So I don't mind that happening. Uh, this is B crash. Uh, let's have a look at the mining profitability on there just quickly. Um, only 1% more profitable to mine on core coin. Yep. So other miners keeping that at bay, still very much in the running. What's that? Bit dear. Good grief. That's a new one. Uh, Fisher price cash. What a joke that is. And Bitcoin. So we've got a Z pool on there in mining Dutch looking very competitive. All right, so if you're wondering what uh, these operations look like that supply the hash rate, we'll have a look at them right now. This is the, uh, this, these are the mining operations. This is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. 
blows my mind every time. Absolutely amazing. Supplying all the hash rate, trying to crack SHA-256. Winning the Coinbase data, otherwise known as the block reward, otherwise known as freshly minted Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the short positions quickly. Uh, uh, Bitcoin short positions going up. Oh, what a joke. What a joke. Total manipulation. Uh, core coin longs just creeping up a little bit again. Dirty traders going to get wrecked. You know, play with shit coins. You get shat on. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, look at this. So BitInfo charts. Bitcoin now with 15.4. Uh, we'll have to see if crypto fights is generating any transactions. Are they coming back online? I mean, uh, it's, it's exciting stuff. Uh, Chainlytics, here we go. So block size, um, 120 megabytes. Again, uh, core coin only 1.1. Needs to be 1.2 to be 1%. So it's less than 1%. Fan sensational stuff. Um, here we go. Average transaction fee. That's what we want. So look at that Cardano, zero average transaction fee because it's a centralized network. We either have a network that is centrally controlled that basically sells your data or you have an economically competitive system that is self-sustaining, which is why you need transaction fees as low as possible. Zero means centralized control. Um, at least any form of fee means there is economic competition, which means there is no central control along with a few other things. Not very good. Scaling test network, yeah, the figure's still the same, good. BSV data, let's have a look at this. Metro ID producing 7.8 gigabytes. And applications, let's have a quick look here. Daily data size. Oh, show buzz, 3.09 gigabytes, that's massive, massive. Very good, good to see the applications in there. Sent B, that's massive. Um... I think that must be uh, oh dot wallets in there. Uh, might have to might have to have a look to see what that's doing. Good to see Haystar Haste Arcade up there. Art music TDXP app. Legends of Uzeron, whatever that is. Unisot. Very good, very good. Trends .cash. Here we go. Applications um, by money spent. Oh haste. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Haste. That. Oh, I wonder if that's happened from. Um, uh, Joshua Hensley's a uh, little bit from it yesterday and um, I also used it as my main title. Look at that. Apps ranking by money spent. People loving haste. 48.3% has surpassed TDXP app. That's absolutely massive. That's huge. Uh, apps ranking by performed actions. Oh, come on. Run and crypto fights. Run and crypto fights is back in action, people. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Just watch these transactions rocket soon. This is very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Come on, come on. Looking forward to looking looking forward to looking at the charts tomorrow morning now already. We are back, baby. We are back. Uh, crypto quant, so yeah, the exchanges have been cashing out. So they've been cashing out. Why is the price going up? Because Tether is pumping it. No other reason. It's like riding in a hot air balloon that's about to pop. Really not looking good. What's on chain? Good question. What is on chain? There is currently 3.8 gigabytes uh, or uh, in the uh, of memory in the memory pool. Estimated block size 3.8 gigabytes. Wow, very good, very good. And let's have a look at this uh, BSV wallet address with uh, 903,000 BSV in there. This is going to be one of the wealthiest wallets in the world. Oh my goodness me. Um, still no movement from the 7th of June, but we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, how are we feeling about uh, Bitcoin today? Coin Gecko feeling good, 82%. That'll do. Morning run. So, oh, we've had 552,538 purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. That's up quite a considerable amount. Well, look at that. The, the price is artificially suppressed. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on with the price here in this um, depth chart. Look at that. Look at that. They forced the price right down again. But again, you know, the only people who would be selling this are those who literally want the price to press because everybody else who knows um, uh, how good this thing is and uh, understands the true value of it. So keep pushing the price down. People keep snapping it up. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, depth chart, so there is 3.3 uh, million bids versus 3.6 million asks. 
But again, that just means price is going down in the short term. But again, they're trying to artificially suppress the price to discredit it. But you cannot you you cannot deny utility. This is what's so funny. Like I'm very much looking forward to the day when uh, these people who are suppressing suppressing the price get their comeuppance. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Bittrex. Yeah, look at all these positive candles. Look at that. Price is trying to break out. It's being artificially kept down, but it's like whack-a-mole. They won't be able to. Uh, they won't be able to maintain it for long. Let's have a look at Silver. So we've got 944 views. I think that's up from 938. Oh, great. So six views. That's all right. You know, we'll get to a thousand views on Silverfish very soon. Uh, so I think that's the end of the chart show, peeps. Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, in order to um, get our sovereignty back, we need a money used by the people to create government for the people. Or we'll have a government that creates money to control the people. And Bitcoin is the most valuable data commodity that the world has ever seen that can actually be used as money. Hence cash being the most liquid form of money. Cash has to be a commodity. So in order to be a digital commodity, it must have a fixed supply, economic competition in the form of proof of work between the nodes, a locked protocol so anyone and everyone can build on it and it's permissionless, infinite scale so anyone and everybody can use it at the same time, hence the uncapped block size, and the chain of signatures making everybody equally accountable, giving common accountability to the system. So there we go. I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the show. And as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, joy given, and I'll see you in the next one.